Hello, this is Jeff Mullis, your state senator from Northwest Georgia. We have continued to make substantial progress through our eighth week here in the Georgia General Assembly in the state senate. Just last week, we had crossover day. And over the course of the, that week, we debated more than 72 pieces of legislation for the people of Georgia. One of the most important bills that we passed was House Bill 918, which is the biggest tax cut in our state's history. It will be the first individual income tax cut since 1937 and the first corporate tax cut since 1969, saving Georgians over $5 billion for the next five years. The bill will also double the standard deductions for taxpayers of all income levels, putting money right back into their pocket for their families. House Bill 918 received substantial support in both chambers of the General Assembly and was, first, and was signed into law last Friday by Governor Deal. Over the last two weeks, we also passed a series of bills that will pave the way toward providing more access to broadband services in rural areas of our state. Addressing the lack of broadband availability in these areas has been a top priority of the Senate for many years. And I'm glad to say or to report that now we have passed that bill over to the House and we're looking for them to agree and pass it forward so we can make substantial uh, investments and determinations for several areas that we need to address most in the rural parts of our state, which will give us a great advantage for economic development. We will begin hearing bills that originate in the House. I have already had the opportunity to carry one of the bills, House Bill 273, which would require schools to offer recess for students between kindergarten and the fifth grade. Now, in our area, northwest Georgia, that's not a problem, but some, some places in the state, like the metro areas, it is a problem. The bill will encourage at least 30 minutes of recess, unstructured, but supervised. Time for kids to be kids and to play outside. As you know, in today's society, with everybody looking at their phone and other things, it's important, I think, for kids to play. And to be, it will help their educational experience in our school system. So it passed the Senate without a single vote against it. We also celebrated Rural Health Day at our Capitol last week, where we honored the Georgia Rural Health Association for their hard work fighting to improve access for health care in rural Georgia. Thank you for your trust in me, and if I can be of service to you, please give us a call and let us know how we can better serve you.